Okay, hello everybody. We are back in Pioneer. And before we go on to uh, our trading, or trade route, I kind of wanted to take a little detour and show you some of the interesting, some of the odd, uh, stellar objects we've actually found in the area. So, right, you all remember Gata. Right? We were here to sell farm machinery. And while searching for a place to buy farm machinery, I came across two interesting and kind of... I don't know if you call them realistic or not, but two really strange stellar objects. And the first one was in this system here called Leo. Now, I was buying farm machinery from Leol, but Leol is kind of strange. Right? So we look at the system map here, and it, it doesn't look too strange, right? Got a lot of planets and moons. There's something with a lot of moons. Right, looks pretty normal like this. But if we switch to the system overview, well, <laughs> you can see what's so odd right away. So, uh, Leol is home to a moon, a planetoid, a moon called Makowski's Colony. It orbits Leol C. And Leol C is a small planet, right? Only uh, 0.039 Earth masses is not very heavy, uh, with a radius of two and a half megameters. It's tiny, right? Only 2.4 Gs. It's a really small planetoid. But, <laughs> as you can tell from this right here, it's got a very, 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 very big moon. Right? However, However, it is very, very, very light, right? So, uh, Leo C has uh, 0.039 Earth masses of weight. Makowski Colony only has uh, 708 teratons, which is what, like 780 trillion tons. So it's still big. <laughs> it's big enough, uh, but you look at the radius and it's got a hundred a hundred and seventy one megameters compared to its parents 2.5 megameters it's massive it's massive it's light and it has a mean density of zero kilograms how how there's a there's a port built on it how did they build this port? What's it like walking around on this thing? It, I mean, it's got to be like walking through a giant cloud of dust. You could probably jump off of it. <laughs> you could probably jump from Makowski Colony to Leol C. Not that you'd survive the landing on Leol C, probably, but I mean, you could you could get off of Makowski by jumping, probably. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's huge, this moon. And if we zoom in, you can see how detailed the moon is there. All the other small moons have the same icon. So, right, this, this big old icon here is the same one here. It's just shrunken down. And that's kind of neat. They put a lot of detail in the icons. You, know, you, you probably will never see something quite this big. Uh, so you probably won't see the detail on this icon, but it's there. Makowski Colony is huge, huge. And normally, you, you might think, okay, well, that's kind of the outlier. Uh, it's what I thought, but you'd be wrong. Because we just go over here to Ash. Ash is another system I was thinking about buying farm machinery from. All right, we come over here and we take a look at it. Oh, it's pretty big for a system. 
right? That's pretty far out, right? The outside planet is 27 AU away from the sun. Inside planets are pretty close, but it's still a big system. Switch to the system overview and boom. Look at that, another giant moon. This is this one's a little uh, more realistic, I might say. It's a little more uh, uh, dense. I mean, it's not terribly dense. It's still got a mean density of zero kilo, uh, kilograms, but right, it's got a mass of 150 uh, petatons and a radius of 140 mil uh, megameters, millimeters. That'd be one small moon. That'd probably be a black hole, 150 petatons, 140 <laughs> millimeters. Wow, that would be small, but this is megameters. So it's got a bit more mass to it. It just doesn't show up on the moon. And the, the gas giant is a bit bigger than Liol C was, so. It's, it's it's a bit more imaginable. And we can actually look at that here in the system menu, the system map, right? So there's Ash I-1, and there's uh, Ash I. It's huge. Ash I is huge. But Ash I-1, Ash I is still big enough that we can see it from here. Let's go back to Leol. Right, Leol, our big old moon was in Leol C, so we go to Leol C, there's Leol C1, the Makowski colony is right there. We can't even see Leol C yet on the map. Here, there it is, there it is. Well, let's look at Makowski colony. Whoa, it's massive. And there's Mitchelltown. I'm surprised everything, all the buildings in Mitchelltown aren't floating away. <laughs> See, can we, we don't have any uh, imp, um, data on Mitchelltown though, so. You know, let's, let's go take a look at, at Leol. So, Leol is three tons of gas away. So we don't have to worry about time here since we're just doing something silly today. So normally I'd take a, a shorter jump route, but we don't have to because when we're done gawking at Mikowski Colony, I'm just gonna reload the game. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you'll is also interesting because uh, the smaller moon in the system that has uh, settlements on it, Fournier's claim, is also really tiny. But because it's so tiny and rocky, the ports tend to clip into mountainsides, into the sides of canyons, and that covers up some of the landing pads. Oh. Alright, we're ready to warp. It covers up some of the landing pads, so we can't actually uh, land there with much accuracy. Because if we get assigned a pad that is clipped into the into the scenery, we can't land. We'll just land on the, the scenery. We'll land on the ground instead. It doesn't really work quite right. So here's Mikowski Colony. Cops them uh, detect anything illegal because I don't have any cargo. Why is that still activated? Okay. Let's shoot over to Mikowski Colony. And look at that. We can already see it. We have to zoom in, but it's there. Pretty soon, we won't even have to zoom in to see it. It's that big. Let's turn off the labels, because that makes it hard to see. Okay. 
Yep, there it is. We're not even zoomed in. It's massive. <laughs> I don't even know if something like this could exist in real life. I think it'd probably turn into dust and, and uh, become a ring around its uh, parent planet. But, you know, I'm not a... I am not a astrophysicist, so I couldn't tell you that for sure. But it really doesn't seem too dense. Let's flip around. We could, we could accelerate a bit more, but I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Look at that. Where is Liol C? Where's the planet? Must be behind uh, Mikowski. Oh, there it is. There's the planet. Can't quite see the planet. So let's Let's maneuver so we can fly past Mikowski and see what it looks like from nearby Leol C. Go ahead and target Leol C instead. All right, there we go. And let's go. <laughs> oh my. Well, we're going to blow by this fairly quickly. That's okay. I mean, we're not we're not here for anything important. Look how big that is. so spiky it's like a giant gallstone I don't think gallstones are this spiky it's still oh. it's probably being pulled apart by the gravity of its parent and the sun the sun would probably rip this thing apart wouldn't it There's Leo C. Look at it. It's so tiny. Let me get a little bit closer. We'll uh, swap the cameras. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so there's Leol C. And there's its moon, Makowski Colony. It's massive. We can play around a bit with the this third camera. We can really zoom out with this. So we could probably zoom all the way back out to Leo C. That dot, I think, might be Leo C there. Let's zoom in. Yeah, that it is. Look at that. Look at that! It's so tiny! That's the parent planet, and that's the moon. <laughs> so, yeah, the galaxy can be full of strange things. I'm just zooming out right past that stuff. Interesting, interesting. 
Well, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to show you this weird <laughs> this weird moon that I came across. Uh, next time, I think we'll actually get back to trading and uh, maybe hopefully find some something better than just trading commodities. Right. Hopefully another uh, boom state or another uh, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call them. Another advantageous situation will arise hopefully and we can take advantage of that. But for now <laughs> that's it for today. We'll say goodbye to the old C and Makowski colony and everybody who's stuck around this far. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you all later. Goodbye.